I didn't ask for a keychain. I asked you to take me to the Guardian. That's what we're doing, Monarch. Miraculous Ladybug wouldn't be the same without the series' main villain, Hawk Moth. In Season 2, it's revealed that Hawk Moth's true identity is Gabriel Agrest, and that his desire to gain the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous is because he hopes to save his wife, Emily. In his desperation to save someone he loves, Gabriel will do anything if it means defeating his enemies. This dedication is a pivotal part of his character, and while it may lead him astray at times, it also gets him close to reaching his goal. All I need is for her to lose all hope in Ladybug, to become angry enough so I can akumatize her. 10. One of his villains captures Tiki and Plague. Marinette and Adrian go to great lengths to keep their identities as heroes a secret. This includes ensuring that the existence of their Kwame stays hidden, but it was only a matter of time before someone realized the truth. In the episode Kwame Buster, their teacher Mrs. Mendeleev wishes to reveal the existence of the Kwame to the world. Unfortunately for her, her lack of evidence of their existence results in her not being taken seriously. Hawk Moth views the discouraged Mrs. Mendeleev as an opportunity, and he turns her into the villain called Kwame Buster. The power she is given allows her to pull the Kwamis from their miraculous, which forces both Ladybug and Cat Noir to de-transform throughout the episode. Without the help of Master Fu and Marinette having access to the Miracle Box, Hawk Moth could have found out the identities of his enemies and taken their miraculous at once. I already have your Kwamis, and soon I'll have your miraculous too. True or false? Number 9. Marinette nearly becomes akumatized. It can be dangerous when two brilliant minds learn to work together, and the same can be said about Gabriel Agreste and Lila Rossi. Although they each have different goals, they manage to find their way into an inconvenient alliance for Paris's heroes. In the episode Ladybug, their team up nearly has disastrous repercussions when Marinette is brought face to face with an Akuma. With Lila determined to make Marinette's daily life life difficult, she plants test answers in the other girl's school bag. Accused of cheating on a test, Marinette is sent to the principal's office where her teachers and peers begin to doubt her morality. This situation hurts Marinette and the person she is close to. As a result, multiple akumatizations occur with Marinette, nearly being a victim herself. Natalie becomes ill in those moments, which results in Hawk Moth stopping his scheme. But had he waited a moment longer, Marinette would have revealed her identity as Ladybug. You're not Ladybug? No. She's not me! She's manipulating you! You know I'm already in love with someone else! Number 8. Ladybug and Cat Noir are trapped by Dark Owl Ladybug and Cat Noir are well known by the citizens of Paris, and by season 2, they have amassed a large following of supporters. These supporters never hesitate to help their heroes when given the chance, and Mr. Damocles exhibits this in the episode The Dark Owl. Mr. Damocles takes on a superhero moniker known as the Owl and patrols the streets of Paris. In an attempt to help him realize his dream and put his superhero days behind him, Ladybug and Cat Noir devise a plan to make Mr. Damocles believe he is helping them. This plan backfires and his secret identity is revealed in the process, allowing Hawk Moth to akumatize him. His villain persona Dark Owl is able to trap Ladybug and Cat Noir in retaliation, and he threatens to drown them if they don't hand over their miraculous. The two heroes consider doing just that, and had they not had a pair of fake miraculous on them at the time, Hawk Moth would have succeeded. By the way, say hi to Hawk Moth for us. Hope he enjoys his new toys. Destroy them, Dark Owl! Number 7. Gabriel becomes Monarch and decides to time travel After obtaining the Miraculous from the Miracle Box at the end of Season 4, Gabriel starts out in the episode Evolution by taking on the name Monarch and harnessing more than one Miraculous power at once. The most prominent of these powers is that of time travel given to him by using the Rabbit Miraculous. While he could have gone to a time before his wife Emily became ill, he chooses to hunt down Ladybug and Cat Noir in the past. As he searches the timeline to find the two heroes at their weakest, he gains the attention of their fellow hero Bunnix, who steps in to help the heroes stop him. The ensuing chase through time is a struggle for the heroes, and they are only able to obtain the Rabbit Miraculous from him due to him being overwhelmed by using so many powers at once. How many times in the past was I so close to seizing Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous? By returning to the past, I'll be able to anticipate their actions and steal their magic jewel. Number 6. Gabriel upgrades his power and becomes Scarlet Moth. Gabriel is no stranger to upgrading his powers and in the episode Catalyst, he uses Natalie's power as an akumatized villain to enhance his own strength. As a result, he becomes Scarlet Moth to enhance his abilities. This change allows him to send out more than one Akuma and create multiple villains at once. In the episode, he uses his new ability to send a small army of akumatized villains against Ladybug and Cat Noir. 
The ensuing battle is a tough fight for the heroes, as they'd never faced so many enemies at once before. Scarlet Moth maintains the upper hand until Ladybug obtains more Miraculous to create a team of her own. The massive event spans two episodes, and while Scarlet Moth loses by the end, he still comes close to success. Your days of attacking innocent people will soon be over, Hawk Moth! Number 5. The Kwame Takes Him to Ladybug after he obtains the Miraculous at the end of Season 4, Gabriel orders the Kwamis to take him to the Guardian of the Miracle Box. The episode Destruction shows the Kwamis taking their capture to Marinette's room, which sends him on a scavenger hunt to reveal Ladybug's identity. The hunt is a security measure contrived by Marinette, and it leads to Monarch being ambushed by both Ladybug and Cat Noir. Despite being caught, Monarch refuses to give up the Miraculous, and it results in him being caught by one of Cat Noir's Cataclysm. He makes off with Ladybug's lucky charm and it leaves him permanently wounded in the process. His narrow escape proves that the heroes remain hot on his trail. But as the Kwamis brought him face to face with Marinette, he'd unknowingly been closer to unmasking his enemy than ever before. Grant me the power to locate Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous! Trouble is, that's not a power, that's a wish! Number 4. He is able to reveal a handful of miraculous holders' identities. It has been Hawk Moth's goal since the beginning of the series to reveal the identities of Ladybug and Cat Noir. In doing so, he would be able to confront them during their daily lives and have a significantly higher chance to obtain their Miraculous. In the episode titled Miracle Queen, he nearly succeeds in completing this goal. The episode shows Chloe akumatized into the villain Miracle Queen while she is in possession of the Bee Miraculous. The transformation allows her to control a swarm of bees that brainwash anyone they sting. As a result, she is able to force multiple Miraculous wielders to step forward and reveal their identities to Hawk Moth. While she is unable able to obtain the identities of Ladybug and Cat Noir, Hawk Moth is able to use the information he obtains about the other heroes against them in the future. Hawk Moth is our enemy, Chloe! He can't get a hold of the Miracle Box! I'm not on your side anymore! How many times have I asked to fight alongside you? Number 3. He obtains the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous The series has hinted that when the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous are combined, something disastrous may occur. In the episode Ephemeral, Marinette accidentally incites the end of her universe. Marinette and Luca team up to use the power of the Snake Miraculous called Second Chance, which allows them to reverse time. They hope to learn the identity of Cat Noir, and Luca is meant to reverse time so that he can remember Cat Noir's identity, but she does not. When Marinette learns that Cat Noir is Adrian, however, she doesn't give Luca the order to reverse time. Instead, she continues to operate with the knowledge that Cat Noir and Adrian are the same person. She eventually tells him that she is Ladybug, and they enter a relationship with one another. Their dual reveals allow Gabriel to learn their identity as well, and he steals both the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous. When he finally uses them to make his wish, the entire universe begins to be unwritten. Gabriel finally succeeds until Sass uses his power to reverse time completely. But what's the plan with all the apparitions? Leave them to my magical Ladybugs. Number 2. He turns against his own son and creates Cat Blanc Miraculous Ladybug can get complicated when time travel is involved, and the episode Cat Blanc is no exception. The series is built on the secrecy of Ladybug and Cat Noir's secret identities. They keep them hidden from everyone, even each other, but an alternate timeline shows the catastrophe that could happen if their identities were revealed at the wrong time. After they begin to date, Marinette and Adrian find themselves on the path of an Akuma, due to Gabriel forcing them to break up. In an attempt to protect Marinette from the Akuma, Adrian transforms into Cat Noir in broad daylight. This results in his identity being revealed and used against him. Gabriel also reveals himself as Hawk Moth to put his son in emotional distress. When Adrian is akumatized as a result, his cataclysm is strong enough to destroy the entire world. Although Gabriel gained control over the Cat Miraculous, he wasn't prepared for the disastrous aftermath. His near success is stopped due to Cat Blanc's sheer power, and the alternate timeline is prevented due to Ladybug herself. Self. I'm not Cat Noir anymore. I'm Cat Block. Number 1. He obtains every miraculous in the Miracle Box. The season 4 finale episodes Risk and Strike Back are as close to a total defeat that Ladybug and Cat Noir could face without losing their miraculous. In these episodes, the newest akumatized villain throws the city into chaos as his power causes everyone in Paris to take unnecessary risks. This includes Marinette, who chooses to entrust the dog Miraculous to Felix, who is disguised as Adrian. 
The mix-up allows Felix to betray the heroes, and he uses the power of the dog to steal all the Miraculous from the Miracle Box. He then trades them to Hawk Moth to obtain the Peacock Miraculous, which gives the villain more power than he's ever had before. Although Hawk Moth has faced defeat time and again throughout the series, he still manages to come back stronger each session. His desperation and desire make him increasingly dangerous, and as Season 5 progresses, he utilizes his new powers to become one of the strongest enemies that Ladybug and Cat Noir have ever had to face. As his near successes come closer to being total wins, fans of Miraculous Ladybug continue to hope for the best for their heroes. How do I know that you won't use the Peacock Miraculous against us? If I wanted to harm you, Uncle, I would have done it a long time ago. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Anyway, I here you go. I got the keychain, but I don't know who Ladybug is or where she lives.